I think the number one question I get asked about what I've learnt about myself and walking into this job is, how is it being the only female? And I say constantly, I don't know if I just got lucky with the group of guys that I've been given and the organisation that I turned up for, but I've learnt that I'm capable and I'm able at this level. Hopefully that's laid a foundation for anything to come in the future. I think if you told me that I was going to walk into the Sydney Kings two years ago, and walk out with two championships, I would have pinched myself and I still do that on a daily basis. I feel very grateful that I've been able to be part of this wonderful organisation and even more so that it's been such a success over the last two seasons. My aspirations as a coach I think is constantly changing and I constantly think I'm not sure. I get asked all the time, is, is head coaching on the cards and it's something that I think is planted in my head. It's kind of weird right now, like you know, the NBA scouts and things like that come and introduce themselves and know your name and even that is a little bit surreal, like how do people know who I am? I'm really excited to learn off my mood. I had a wonderful two years learning under Chase, so for me, I think it's critical that you get exposed to different leaders. I don't want to pigeonhole myself in a particular job or a particular position, so just willing to grow, take it all in and see what happens.